You're right guys, it's Capgun Tom here and I'm back for another episode of Road to Glory and we will be continuing on with our Serie B uh, Nordic hybrid today. Now I wanted to sign some players but every time I go and look for the players that I'm trying to sign they're never in the right formation or they're too expensive and it's doing my head in because you know it's not like a gold player where you can go off and there'll be a million of them in your formation. It's like there's like maybe one or two of that player in total on the whole market so just finding them in your formation is like a stroke of luck so Hopefully we'll pick them up in the next couple of episodes, but otherwise we may be stuck with the team that we've got until then. Um, I mean, we're getting quite, pretty good chemistry with it, so um, I'm not really too bothered. And uh, there's only one real position that's pissing me off, and that's the left midfielder, because he's absolute rubbish. Anyway, go off into our first game, come up against this uh, 40 chem team, and uh, we pretty much uh, obliterated him. He did put up a little bit of a fight. Uh, you can see here, quite early on, we took the first lead through Risotto. But um, after that, he actually started to play a lot tighter. Um, his back was more lined up better, I guess, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And I really struggled to break him down. Anyway, you can see here um, Giacomelli doing some nice skills to get past one of his players. And then he actually takes out him out with the other player, which uh, led to this free kick. Simple layoff shot to Rosuto. And with those bronze goalkeepers, you know, if you finesse them into the far corner, they're never going to get near them. So um, that's a, definitely a tip for you to... If you're playing against bronze keepers, just just have the pot shots because they more than likely will miss or not get to them. So Rusuto already getting two for the team. You can see here Cacavallo getting on the score sheet after doing a little uh, step over and going inside uh, his guy going in completely the wrong direction to make it 3-0 to us. And uh, Cacavallo I think finishes off the scoring here. Oh no, sorry, Rusuto gets his hat trick um, in the 90th minute. they uh, just going through and finessing it simply past the goalkeeper for the 4-0 win. So. Uh, Pretty decent result there, especially uh, since I haven't been playing very much FIFA recently. I don't know if you guys feel this as well, but I feel that if I don't play FIFA for a while, I uh, just sort of like, I don't know, I just lose my clinicalness or whatever in front of goal. I'm just not quite as sharp, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I managed to accidentally put myself into a uh, game against a three-star team. Uh, he had goals, he had a uh, silver win at the back, obviously, the very, very fast centre-back um, from the MLS. <clears throat> and uh, to say that I struggled against him would be an understatement. I will say until the day I die that I would have got across there if that guy hadn't taken me out in the middle of the box. Um, I would have <laughs> I would have closed down the shop and stopped it, but um, unfortunately his guy running in front actually knocked me off my feet and uh, I couldn't get there in time. But anyway, um, I pretty much replied instantly and this would have been the nicest, one of the nicest skill runs I've ever done on this game. I mean, look at Rosuto here, he just literally cannot get the ball off me going past all the players and if I'd finished I would have been off my chair screaming but as it happens um, his goalkeeper manages to palm it back out but fortunately Cacavallo's there to just put it into the back of the net for us just finishing him off to get us back to 1-1 which I was very thankful for <clears throat> he actually took the lead after half time through this corner um, Bassong completely free in the middle of the box and Bassong is pretty good from good in the air I mean I've used him in teams before so I definitely recommend him and um, yeah Unfortunately, after doing some tactical changes, um, I managed to uh, score a very, very lucky goal with Cacavallo again um, from outside the box, just getting it through the defender's legs and into the far corner. And uh, I'm sure that a lot of you are going to call me um, a pussy or whatever you want to call me, but I did end up uh, ending as draw just because, um, well, he was pace raping me and I couldn't really do much about it. And uh, it was lucky enough that I actually even got to the end of the game as 2-2 so I'm pretty sure that if we'd gone into extra time he would have absolutely trounced me so you know I thought better safe than sorry um, get those coins uh, we would have just lost coins if it hadn't been for you know dropping out then and we just go off and play our final game we come up against this 4-2-3-1 team silver striker up front in the right formation so striker I was a little bit worried about but everywhere else in the team looked pretty weak <clears throat> And uh, had a really good chance early on. You can see here Rosuto doing all the hard work, going past his defender over the goalkeeper's head with a rainbow flick and then just not managing to finish off. But we did get quite a nice goal here through our centre attacking mid, the Norway guy, Landu Landu, um, which was actually a very, very nice goal because uh, it was on the volley over his shoulder. And uh, although it didn't fly into the net, it went in, you know, bottom corner, which was nice to see. Anyway, uh, I'm getting really annoyed with these guys because literally... All they do is rage quit and it is doing my head in because, uh, you know, I'd only played for 14 minutes. I wanted to make the game a bit longer so the episode would be longer, but obviously that wasn't to be. So, guys, sorry about the shortness of this episode again. Um, I guess I'll leave it there and I will see you all next time.